So I've made over a thousand pieces of content online. Here's what I learned. There's a lot of people that are talking about making value posts, making valuable content. I want to distill down what that actually is. And I learned this through making over a thousand pieces of content. Now, just so you can be aware, I don't have some huge team. I made all these pieces of content myself. They're either YouTube videos, podcast episodes, Facebook posts, Instagram posts, Facebook lives, Instagram lives, posts inside of my Facebook group. So I've definitely made, it's well over a thousand now. And there's one thing that I've learned that I really want to share with you. The common misconception about what value is when people say, hey, make posts that are valuable for your audience. It's not just, this is what everybody does and this is what's wrong. And this is what does not work. So whatever you do, don't do this. Most people, they get some course or some program or they listen to a video on YouTube or they read somebody else's content, somebody else who's done some things, right? And so that person has context about whatever it is that they're talking about. And they get, they distill the lessons from this piece of content, right? That they consume and they just try to spout out those same lessons, but they're missing a key step. The key step is doing the thing, actually doing the thing, then talking about it. So I'm here, I'm talking about how to make content valuable, but I've made a shit ton of content. So this way, you know, like, I know what I'm talking about. I have context. And so one of the easiest ways to make content that's valuable for your audience is making content that saves them time. This video is an example of that. I made a thousand pieces of content and I learned these lessons. Here's what they are. It's valuable. Even if you make a thousand pieces of content and you end up getting zero sales, I made a thousand pieces of content and got zero sales so you don't have to go through the same thing. Here's what I learned. That is a valuable piece of content for your audience, right? If you're teaching them to get sales online or teaching them how to make content that converts. So what you do is you take what you did, the actions that you took, and you say, I did this. You're stating the facts. You're telling the truth. Say, hey, I did this thing. This is what I learned. Even if the thing that you did didn't bring any results, you're still saving your audience time because you put in the time to figure out that doing this thing this way for this amount of time did not yield results. So now they don't have to go through that same process because you save them time. That piece of content is valuable. This is the easiest way. I shouldn't say easy. It's the simplest way to make valuable pieces of content. Here's the reason why most people won't do it. It requires work. It requires work, but that's also a blessing. Most people won't do it because they don't want to do that work. That means that if you do the work and then you report your findings on said work, you automatically stand out against everybody else who is telling people what to do without actually doing it themselves. I hope this is helpful for you. Um, Look back on your life and things that you've done that can be helpful for your audience, things that you've accomplished, even things that you failed to accomplish, but you put in a considerable amount of work trying to do it. Share those things. That's what people are going to find valuable. See you in the next one.